Now, with North Korea's 70th Foundation Day coming up on September 9th, satellite imagery shows the regime is set to stage yet another military parade. This comes as worries mount that diplomatic efforts on its denuclearization are stalling now. Lee Sung Jae with the details. Parades have long been a way for North Korea to show off its military power to the world. Come September 9th, Pyongyang will host a number of major events for the 70th anniversary of the country's founding, including a military parade. Based on commercial satellite imagery gathered by Planet Labs Incorporated, analysts say the parade is likely to be very similar to the one staged in February. But 38 North, a U.S. think tank devoted to analyzing North Korea, thinks otherwise. According to their analysis of satellite photos, North Korea has been readying for their parade since July, and the event is expected to be one of the largest given the scale of preparation. Images show some 500 trucks used to transport troops parked outside a parade formation. It also found the shelters for troops are larger than the ones used in the preparation for the military parade to mark the 70th anniversary of the North Korean Army in February. Satellite images dated August 22nd show the medium parade training ground full of tanks, self-propelled artillery, infantry carriers, anti-aircraft missiles, and rocket launchers. Other possible weapons to be showcased include coastal defense cruise missiles, as well as at least six solid fuel short-range ballistic missiles, possibly of a type first seen in February. However, analysts say there are no signs of ICBMs yet. They added that if ICBMs or other large missiles are present, they would likely remain hidden under cover in heavy equipment storage areas until the day of the parade. The parade is also expected to draw visits by foreign delegations, and for the first time in five years, a massive choreographed performance known as the Mass Games. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.